Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be eating like Emma Chamberlain for 24 hours and I'm not following like one specific what I eat in a day video that she has. I think she only has one anyways, but I'm just pulling out different foods from different videos that she has and I might have to make some changes and I also might add a few things, but I'll try to make it as close as possible to hers. But yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. And then also, I'm vegan and she's vegetarian, so this shouldn't be too hard to make changes. She already drinks like almond milk and stuff, so... Okay, so for breakfast, I'm going to make some oatmeal with blueberries in it. She has that in her What I Eat in a Day video. Obviously, I can't really make this video without drinking coffee. I'm gonna have some iced coffee, um, so I'll be putting in some almond milk and plant creamer. If you're interested in what type of coffee I use, it's just this Starbucks. I use a drip through coffee maker. Okay, my hair is so crazy. So after I drank the coffee, I had like so much energy. Like I could not stop moving around and I'm just like, no wonder I don't drink coffee every day. And this was only like one cup of coffee. And um, yeah, we finally went on a walk and now I feel better, but For lunch, I am going to make um, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because Emma has a video of her making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I mean, she also does some other things in the video, but I already have jelly and peanut butter and bread, so I'm not using the same brands as her. I know that she doesn't like the Welch's jelly, so at least I'm not using the brand that she doesn't like for jelly. I'm using this brand, and I think it's really good because it doesn't have any added sugar. Not only is, um, obviously, added sugar isn't healthy, but it, I also don't like jellies with added sugar. They're just way too sweet for me. I don't like really super sweet jellies, so, and this is great flavored. And then for the peanut butter, um, I'm using this one it doesn't have any added oils literally just like peanut butter and water and those are like the only ingredients and then like a little bit of salt i think yeah uh, she toasted her bread um i've never done that for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then i'll show you the bread that i am using it's called nature's own it's really good bread i think my favorite one is Dave's bread, but of course they didn't have that at the store because like that's the best type so everyone socked up on it Honestly, this peanut butter is really good, but it's kind of hard to spread So and it's one of those types that you have to stir when you first get it. So that's kind of annoying, but It is really good And then also if you're vegan just make sure you get jelly without gelatin in it because some jellies do have gelatin in it, which is gross. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you probably knew that, but yeah, just wanted to let you know if you didn't know that. And there we go, all done. And then as a side, in one of her other videos, she does a taste test and she tastes um, like some potato chips and I am going to have barbecue chips. They're going to be a different brand, but I think it's close enough. 
Also as another side, I'm going to be having an orange because in one of her videos, she has a grapefruit. I know they don't taste similar, um, but they're both citrus fruits and I'm sure if she likes grapefruits, she probably likes oranges, I hope. I don't have a grapefruit. I like grapefruits, but I don't have one. For dinner, I'm going to have some cheddar style vegan mac and cheese. In one of her videos where it's like cook with Emma, she makes mac and cheese. She does homemade and it's not vegan, but I'm just going to have one that's not homemade and obviously vegan. I'm also going to make a salad because she has a salad in her what I eat in a day video. It will be a little different, but they're both salads. And also, if you've tried vegan mac and cheese before and didn't like it, and you haven't tried this brand before, usually this brand of cheese is not good. Like, don't get this brand of vegan cheese. But if you get their mac and cheese, it is so good. Hey guys, so my hair is wet because I just took a shower. Um, but for dessert, I had vanilla ice cream because in her What I Eat in a Day video, she has ice cream and I'm pretty sure it was vanilla. And now for the review. So I think I'm going to give myself a seven and a half out of 10. Because, first of all, I didn't drink as much coffee as she did, and I would never, ever do that to myself anyway, so. And then, um, also, I didn't have, like, the same brands, uh, as her. And then, um, the other reason I gave myself a 7.5 out of 10 is because, um, for the dinner, we both had salads, but... Mine was completely different than hers. She had like an Asian salad and I had like just, I don't even know, just not an Asian salad. But yeah, other than that, I think I did pretty well. This compared to what I would actually eat, I think um, I would definitely eat more vegetables and I would have more protein, but other than that, I think it was pretty similar. I think I would usually be a little more healthy. And some of her videos that I found um, the food ideas from are like two years old even. I think the What I Eat in a Day video that she has is two years old. So she probably does eat differently now, but uh, yeah, this video is just for fun and um, I hope you all enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and I will see you in another video. Bye!